To remain updated with the latest business news, click on the bell icon. From our side, we are very clear that we are not shutting all options off. We will allow a certain amount of uh, a window for people to, uh, you know, use so that experiments in uh, the blockchain, the uh, bit, uh, Bitcoin or whatever you may want to call it, the cryptocurrency experiments and fintech which depend on such experiments will have that window available for them. We are not going to shut it off all. Abhi naya bill almost tayar hai, wo jayega cabinet ke paas aur cabinet ke clearance ke pa baad mein house mein aayega. Ye zarur mein keh sakti hoon. Fintech industries mein Bharat mein achcha advantage hai, amara yuvaon ka bhoot interest hai. Ye technology ke oopar bhoot saare log ka unke apne ravaya bhi hai. Ye sab sangyan mein lete huye hi humare bill tayar ho rhi hai. Two statements from the finance minister, nine months apart. Statements which sent hopes soaring that the saga of cryptocurrency regulation, which began in 2019, will finally conclude this year. Even the signals out of the PMO were encouraging. Take cryptocurrency or Bitcoin, for example. It is important that all democratic nations work together on this and ensure it does not end up in wrong hands which can spoil our youth. This would have been great news for the 15 to 20 million Indians who are said to have invested anywhere between 6 to 10 billion dollars in cryptocurrencies. What's important is that most of these investors are youngsters, driven by greed and desperation in times of COVID when jobs and sources of income were scarce. A news break from Business Today TV in the last week of October was the push crypto players and investors were looking for. Sources tell us that government is looking to regulate cryptocurrency under asset class and currently a lot of meetings have been happening with the, uh, the officials uh, in the finance ministry, Reserve Bank of India and also from the industry. The government uh, is looking to regulate it and is thinking that a regulation should be such that seeks to avoid any kind of potential pitfalls. So much awaited news, I think in about two to three months time, that's something uh, we will uh, officially hear from the government. There was finally hope that a law would be in place to regulate the crypto space and protect the interests of investors. It was in the middle of November that action accelerated. Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired a high-level meet on cryptocurrencies followed two days later by a meeting of the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Finance. Both showed the government had not closed its doors to cryptos and a law was very much under consideration. However, there were big security concerns about their use for terror financing and money laundering. There was a consensus that investor protection laws had to be in place. Market players and domain experts were part of discussions with the government. Then, on the night of 23rd November, came the big twist. News that the crypto bill was on the parliament agenda and it planned to ban cryptocurrencies. The reaction was instant. Cryptos plunged. Hundreds of crores were wiped out overnight. The panic was stemmed. Only the next day, when government officials clarified that only a regulation was under consideration. Well, earlier, uh, you know, crypto was seen more more as a uh, 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 payment system, but it is actually not. It is not a currency. It's, it's more like an asset class that uh, a government should think of it, and that's how it has been evolving in other countries as well. So, with that sense, I think uh, a lot of that confusion, which was earlier there. Now it has gone away and, and government is more open to the idea of adopting crypto. Uh, I, I won't be surprised to see this uh, getting re regulated eventually. But that path to regulation is never going to be a smooth and easy one. And there will always be debates and deliberations. And I think what we are witnessing right now 
is that process of uh, regulating crypto where there will always be uh, two sides and uh, that's a, a good thing for uh, bringing the right regulations in the country resistance to cryptos however continued banking regulator rbi made it clear that it was dead set against cryptos in any form it instead pushed for its own central bank digital currency the technology i have said this before the technology can grow and will grow without cryptocurrencies or whatever name you use to describe cryptocurrencies when the reserve bank after due internal deliberation says that there are serious concerns on macroeconomic and financial stability there are deeper issues which need much deeper discussion much more well informed discussion the government finally ended up backpedaling on the crucial bill end of december it was considering reworking the proposed regulation and preparing it to be tabled in the parliament in the budget session next february sources told business today tv that the delay is on account of discussions at the highest levels of government on key issues like private cryptocurrencies and global practices Investors and players alike were hoping for closure this year but as the new year beckons they are left wondering when the sun will rise on the law to regulate cryptocurrencies Bureau report business today television If you like the video do like comment share and subscribe